Through this video, you will be able to make something like this. This is kind of a short tutorial because if I was to make a complete tutorial on it, it would have taken days. So the only thing I have done is remove all the boring part and tell you the steps that it took me to create this scene. So hope you are excited. So let's get started. Also you can get the project file link is in the description. So delete everything in the default scene and set the view of the viewport facing the front just like I have or you can do something on your own also. Then press shift A and let's add in a camera. Now if you press ctrl alt and 0 you can bring your camera to view. Now let's add in a plane and place it near your camera and make sure that it's not underneath it. It should be in front of it. Uh, also I tilted the plane a bit on the y axis. Then I added a cube for human scale and I will set the height to 0.2 meters. Uh, let me explain you why and how. So let's say the average human height is uh, 2 meters and relatively height of a building is 100 meters. So if the height of human is 0.2 meters then relatively the height of the building will be 10 meters. I hope that makes sense. So I did that because uh, if you go super large scale in blender it is uh, very hard to navigate objects. So that's why I did that. Now relatively the ground plane is looking very small in comparison to our human. So I will scale the plane and move my camera backwards accordingly. After you are satisfied with your scale you can go to edit preferences and in add-ons you can search for landscape and check this add-on called ant landscape. This is very useful for creating procedural landscape. Now go to add mesh and select landscape. Now select this drop down for options and for background mountains I always prefer mountain 2 presets because uh, it gives uh, two cool peak mountains. So now you can change the random seed to get random results. So I like this one so I will move it far away and place it in the background and also keep in mind the scale of the mountain relative to human. So I will place two mountains in the background. Then I added a landscape again and this time I will be using mountain 1 preset which is good for uh, single peak mountains and feel free to use the random seeds. Now I wanted to scale this mountain down on the x and y axis and I can do that by scaling up on the z axis but then I have to again scale it down to its original size. So to avoid that so if you press s and then you hold shift and z and then scale you will see that the mountain is scaling on all axis except this z axis. So I placed three mountains on the right side and the nearest one is very big and I only wanted to show its uh, giant cliffy portion. So I added uh, some subdivisions to it to make it look like rock hard. Now it's time to add rocks in our foreground. So for that go to edit preferences and in add-ons search for extra objects. Now you can go to add mesh and you will see rock generator. Now in the options uncheck random seed and I will manually select the seed I want. Also you can change the detail in the viewport and render. So make sure to choose detail according to your system. For me in the viewport it will be 2 and in the render it will be 4. Then I randomly scattered all the rocks on my terrain and also don't apply the scale or it will mess up with your shape. Also you can spawn multiple rocks at the same time. Now it's time to add some trees. Now I can make my own trees but for the sake of this tutorial I use trees from Brandshop where everything is just free. So there search for trees and sort by most downloads. Uh, there you go and make sure to log in. Now to bring those trees in our scene go to files and append and select the blend file you have just downloaded. Then select the objects.
Now I don't want this tree and its leaves so I will delete that. Now place the tree in your scene with keeping the human scale in mind and also I'll select all the rocks in our scene and press M to move it to a new collection and I will call the collection as rocks and all the landscape in the landscape collection. Now if you try to duplicate this tree, this will happen. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, I'm not sure but it could be a problem with the blend file. So let's select the leaves and go to its particle system and under render I change the scale to 0.009. Uh, after scattering trees, it's time for some foliage and for that I will be using botanic add-on in blender If you want free foliage and if you are an unreal engine user, I highly recommend using pixel mega scan or uh, you can browse on blend swap So for the grass, I will spawn this basic a grass and this wild a grass and move it down so it would be visible in our scene now let's deform our terrain so make sure to apply it scale and go to edit mode and subdivide it uh, several times. Then go to modifiers and let's add in a displace modifier. Now hit this new and select this button to view its texture. Then set the texture to cloud and then set the desirable size and go to colors and decrease the contrast. Then again go to edit mode and only select the faces that are inside your camera and then go to vertex group and let's add in a vertex group and make sure to hit assign because I always forget that. Now in wet paint mode set the brush to subtract and I will draw a pathway uh, on which our foliage will not scatter. Then I select both of the grass and move it to a new collection called grass, <laughs> obviously. Then go to particle system and this time I will not be using geometry nodes for such an easy task. Then I set that to here. Then set the render as collection and then use the instance collection to our grass collection. Then check this advanced option and in rotation set that to object Y that will fix the rotation. Then go to vertex group and set the vertex group we just created. Under the children set that to interpolated and I will increase the scale to 0.07 and also make sure that the display amount is same as the render amount. Now, we'll, now I will add in some flower assets and scatter them as same as grass but uh, this time I will keep the number very lower. Now it's time for materials. So I am using ambient CG and there I search for ground and I downloaded this ground 026 in 2k resolution. Now with the principal shader selected go to add-ons and search for node triangular and enable that this is very useful and never uncheck that. Now select the principal shader and press ctrl shift T to open PBR texture setup. Now select the materials you have just downloaded. Uh, in this case, I will select the normal OpenGL because uh, Blender runs on OpenGL and the diffuse and the roughness. Now I will scale this one to 5. Now duplicate the principal shader and add in new grass material. So I found this ground 037. Now mix both of the shader with the mix shader node. Uh, now as you can see when the factor is 0, it is ground and when the factor is 1, it is grass. So we have to blend both of them on several part of the mesh. So to do that, uh, create a new image and I will call it ground mask. And I will set the resolution to 2K. And make sure to save the image or it will not work. Now add an image texture node in the graph and select the ground mask from the drop down and plug that into the factor. Now go to texture painting mode and if you set the color to white and paint on your terrain you can see that we are painting grass. So the black color is our ground and the white color is our grass. But uh, we have to invert that so to do that plug this into this one and it's done. 
uh, and make sure to save the image or the blending won't work now you can paint over it now let's texture the mountains so i will be using this rock 032 and our old grass material so repeat the same setup as we did with the ground but uh, this time we will blend them according to the steepness so add in a geometry node and a separate xyz node and plug the normal into the vector and z into the factor then you can add in a color ramp node to control its strength and now you can see that it is blending them according to the steepness so the steep portion has the rock side and and where there is something to rest there is our grass and if the texture does not appear you can smart you project it and repeat the same process on every mountain now let's texture the rocks so i searched for rock and i found this rock 048 so i applied this to every rock and smart you project every rock now let's scatter some grass on our mountains so now we have to keep in mind that uh, grass do not grow on steep portions so we only want to scatter grass where there is something for the grass to rest and it is made simple by our smart blending so if you go to edit mode and press w you can turn on circle select mode and now choose only those faces where there is our grass material in this way no brainstorming and then set the vertex group and hit assign and i will scatter my basic a grass on those mountains and if you don't find a correct rotation you can use global z and change the face to make it face towards our camera now let's add in a background image uh, so go to add-ons and search for images as planes now go to add image and images as planes and the image i am using will be in the link in the description now place the image in the background very far away but in the render view you can see that it is looking very dull so plug the color into the emission and problem fixed now if you add in a sun you can see that our lighting is looking very flat so i added a huge plane and plugged the noise texture in into the alpha of the plane uh, make sure to apply its scale now add in a color ramp node and control its strength and size for the cloud size in this way we have added the effect of cloud shadow now let's add in a huge cube which covers everything except our terrain now in the material remove the surface and under volume set that to principal volume Uh, I will set the intensity to 0.001 and give it a bit of sky blue color. And after a bit of tweaking improvements, uh, taking real life reference, this is our stunning landscape. And that's pretty much it. If you want to know how I rendered this animation with such a huge scene, then you can watch this video. Uh, bye bye.